Oh no, here comes the evil Pooh, and he's chasing right after us. By the way, look! Here comes Poe! He is hiding behind this door to scare us! And here he is! Giant Pooh! It looks like we've reached Mom's bedroom! If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on, guys. About three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now! I changed my clothes here! <laughs> Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will escape from Pooh Prison. Is this the same Pooh we recently ran away from? This guy is very creepy. I hope he won't do to us what he did in that game. I think this Pooh looks a little kinder than the previous one. Let's go ahead and try to escape from here. Now we need to get out of this ventilation. By the way, look, here we need to go up these platforms. I remember a similar game. We've already played something like this. It seems that that game also began to be copied as Barry's Prison Break. But I like this location much more. There are a huge number of different tests that we have not seen before. We pressed the button and the platforms from this wall began to move out. Wow. Now let's take these fans further. Fans at the very beginning of the game looks really cool. The only thing is that it doesn't look a little like a prison because you can't see the prison cells here. But nevertheless, we need to escape from the evil Poe. By the way, we have never seen him yet, but I think that we will meet him very soon. Okay, we press the button and now on this platform we are going up. And then, we need to cross this bridge and jump over these lasers. But it seems that not all players are able to cope with this task. It seems to me that these players are simply too inexperienced. Well, we finally found ourselves in some kind of ventilation, and it looks like now we will find ourselves in some new room. Let's see what awaits us there. By the way, here we need to collect 10 cakes, but I don't think we will pay attention to this because usually we don't get anything for them. Oh no! Here comes the evil Pooh, and he's chasing right after us. Although it seems to me that this cannot be called chasing. Rather, he just moves without any animation in our direction. Yes, it really looks strange. He walks as if he has little wheels hidden in his legs. And in fact, it's not Pooh, but a robot. Well, he moves quite slowly, and I think thanks to this we can escape from him with ease. It looks like we will now find ourselves in some kind of gym. Yes, that is right. Only here, instead of various exercise equipment, there are a lot of different cakes and cookies. It looks like it's like a gym only in reverse. A gym for getting fat. I think you're talking complete nonsense. There are definitely no such gyms. At least even if they existed, they would be pointless because you can become fat without even leaving your home. It's the people who get out of the house the least who become fat. Let's take a break from this idiotic topic and focus on completing the game. We just jumped over a huge abyss using a trampoline. Now we need to stand on this stick and go through another one. By the way, look, here, balls fly out of these black holes. Okay, it seems to me that I remember the sequence in which these balls fly out. Now the main thing is just to wait until they fly out of there. Great! I managed to do this, and we move on. So far we have not come across a single difficult challenge in this game, but nevertheless they are all very interesting. You go through this whole gym pretty fast, Bluey. Well done. Keep it up. And now we need to overcome this obstacle course. There are a lot of thorns here on this bridge. The most important thing is to cross past them while they are hidden. And now we are jumping on some huge slide. Now let's drive down it. It seems to me that the exit from this gym is as close as possible. Yes, we just need to walk along these platforms and then we will be as close as possible to the exit. By the way, did you notice that at the very top, there is a timer during which we need to complete this game? Otherwise, we will not receive a game pass? This already happened in one game we played, and unfortunately, we still didn't receive this game pass. Therefore, we shouldn't try to beat this game as quickly as possible. By the way, look, I can already see the red door. This is the way out of here. Great, let's finally escape from here. We passed this gym for quite a long time. Look, there's some kind of toxic waste here. Now we will need to turn this valve until toxic steam stops coming out of these pipes. Great, we've scrolled through it three times and we can finally move on. Let's see what location we will find ourselves in next. Wow, this corridor is very big. By the way, look, here comes Poe. He is hiding behind this door to scare us. 
He ran out, and now he will run right behind us. But we already know that he moves quite slowly so we can escape from him. He has no chance of catching up with us because he really moves as slowly as possible. Look, another red door. We need to go into it to finally escape from him. Okay, looks like he won't follow us here. Now we need to take these pallets and put them in a pile to form a slide along which we can climb into this ventilation. Wow, this is a rather unusual task. This has never happened in any of Barry's prison escapes. I really like that the developers are really adding new challenges to this game. Great! We made a pretty big tower out of pallets, and now we need to get out of this ventilation. Look, there's a huge target ahead. Looks like we need to hit it with this ball. Great! We did it, and a bridge appeared in front. Let's go into this safe now. Safe? It's very strange that there is a safe in the prison. Let's see what's stored there. Okay, these look like some kind of boxes. Unfortunately, we won't be able to find out what they are filled with, but thanks to these boxes, we again find ourselves in the ventilation. And now we need to find a way out of it. There are a huge number of descents in this ventilation. It looks like we are going down somewhere deep underground. Look, we found a way out of the ventilation and ended up in the sewer. For some reason, someone had placed a huge number of rusty traps here. Perhaps this was done to catch all the rats that live there. The funny thing is that none of these traps worked. It's possible that rats aren't actually as stupid as they might seem. Now we need to climb these stairs, and then we find ourselves in the ventilation again. It seems to me that there are too many ventilations in this game. Look! Looks like we're about to go on an energy drink run. I just love buildings of this type, because thanks to energy drinks, our character starts running as fast as possible. But unfortunately, these energy drinks have a very bad effect on the body in real life. Therefore, I advise you, our dear subscribers, not to drink energy drinks, otherwise you will develop huge heart problems. You're right, Bluey. Energy drinks are really very bad for people. But in this game, we simply need them in order to overcome all these challenges. By the way, in this game, it is impossible to just run forward and jump because in this case, we can easily fly over the platform. But we were able to pass this test. It was very easy. Now we need to walk down this corridor without touching these electric sticks. It seems to me that the exit from this prison is somewhere as close as possible. Now we need to go into the ventilation again, and we will move on. I still never cease to be amazed at how many ventilation there are in this game. But in any case, this game has a huge number of different challenges. By the way, look, this challenge is very similar to the laser challenge in Barry's prison victory. But in this particular test, the lasers don't move. They are just statically in one place. Because of this, this test was as easy as possible. Okay, it looks like now we will finally be free. Now we need to climb up this wall, and then we need to go where this arrow is pointing us. By the way, look, there's an RPG on the wall there. Looks like we're in for a final boss fight. Let's quickly grab this RPG and go fight this boss. And here he is, Giant Poo. By the way, it's also not animated at all. This is just an ordinary Poo model that seems to be rolling behind us, and it looks as strange as possible. But because of this, it becomes very difficult to fight against him because due to the fact that he has no animation, it is impossible to predict what his next attack will be. By the way, here is an example for you. He just released a blast wave, although I couldn't understand it. But I am sure that this will not stop you from winning. Great job, Bluey. You defeated this boss. Now let's head to the exit from here. Finally, we were able to beat this game. By the way, I surprisingly like this game very much. Although it is very similar to another game that we played before, nevertheless, this game had a huge number of cool challenges. Well, we now have some funny cat. Now let's move on to the next game. Hello everyone, friends. Today we will escape from Inside Out Prison. I just love this cartoon. I really like it. By the way, look, multicolored spheres are flying up here. It looks very cool. By the way, in this game, you can still change the skin. Let's do that. Wow! Joy skin looks very cool. 
I really like it. Let's continue to play through this game using this skin. I really hope that the first boss doesn't become aggressive towards us because we look exactly like her. I hope this will help us get through the first boss with ease. We will find out as soon as possible. We need to get to it first. Wait, what? We have already seen this in one of the prisons. It looks like the developers downloaded the map with this boss and remade it for their characters. And here is the location with the first boss. I still really hope that she won't attack us. But she is the one running towards us. In fact, it's quite funny to watch how a huge fat farting Joy runs after little Joy. Yes, I really didn't expect what we would see in this game. Great! We finally escaped from her by jumping onto this yellow pipe. This is very cool. Now, let's go straight to the toilet room and see what it looks like in this game. It seems to me that this room will not be any different from the room with toilets in the Red Larva Prison. Look, there are no booths here either, and the developers just left a tunnel. Well, let's go through this entire dungeon. By the way, it seems to me that lately we've only been playing Barry's Prison Escape and all the games similar to this game. It seems to me that we need to slightly diversify this gameplay. I think that there should definitely be some other cool modes in Roblox. I haven't found anything interesting lately, but it seems to me that our subscribers have definitely played something cool in Roblox. I think it would be very cool if our subscribers wrote the name of their favorite Roblox modes in the comments, and we would definitely try to play them. Wait, seriously? In this tunnel with a rolling boulder, there is also an invisible wall, and this boulder will not knock us down? Okay. Looks like the developers decided to simplify this game here, too. Well, let's go to the next boss. But I would like to change our skin. Anger running away from another evil boss? This looks extremely funny. By the way, why is he so small? I always thought that anger is something huge, dark, and evil. But in fact, it's just a very cute and low flame with an evil face. Maybe because he's so small and hot, this boss doesn't want to grab him. Otherwise, he'll just burn his hands. Well, now let's head straight up those stairs and start doing the energy drink run. In fact, it's really very cool that in this game, it is possible to change skins because usually the creators of Roblox modes do not give such an opportunity. But now we can try ourselves in the role of completely different characters. I think we should open the list of all the characters that are in this game and try again to change your skin to some other one. There really are completely different characters here. By the way, there is a red larva and all sorts of other characters. There are even characters from various anime and TV series. But I want to find someone from the amazing Digital Circus. By the way, look, here is the female version of Pomni. Let's play for her. Wow, she walks very cute. Just look at her walk. And when she jumps, her legs look funny. It's really very cool that the developers worked so hard on adding different skins with different animations to this game. It seems to me that this is missing from all the other Barry Prison escapes. I think it's not that hard to add models of different characters, but it really changes this game a lot. I still can't get enough of how funny Pomni walks in this game. It looks as unusual as possible for Roblox. I really hope that her gait will not prevent her from carrying this ladder to the ventilation and jumping up on it because this task is very difficult to complete. But I think I can do it the first time. I think it has nothing to do with the skin. Rather, you just need to do it as professionally as you always do. And you did it again. Now let's cross this bridge with a fan in order to go to the next tests. I really find it very funny to watch her jump. I haven't seen this on any of the Roblox skins and it really looks extremely unusual. Now let's go to the pipes. They look as funny as possible. I have never seen anyone repaint these pipes purple. The developers really did a great job on customization in this game. I just really like the way this game looks and all the challenges here. It seems to me that here I too will not be angry at the test with valves and this game is a million times better than the previous Barry Prison Escape in which we played where every five seconds a notification appeared on our screen to add favorites to this game. By the way, we, we've submitted a complaint about this game. I really hope she gets banned. And by the way, we came to this test with the fans quite quickly. Now we are heading upstairs straight to the ventilation, which leads to the race with the fans. 
I really hope that in this game, the developers did not reduce the distance between the platforms and did not simplify it in any way. I think we will find out as soon as possible. We're already here. Great. Look, in this race with fans, the distance between the platforms is as large as possible. And I still have a lot of fun watching Pomni jumping over these gaps. It looks very cute. Do you remember how a few months ago when we played Prison Break from the amazing Digital Circus, Pomni came to our Discord server and talked to us? It was really cool. I really hope that someday she will also join us. By the way, we have already entered the cafeteria and now we will fight against the chef boss. Let's quickly head to the bazooka. Take it and defeat this boss. I really hope that he won't throw food at us very often and won't be able to slow us down too much. So far he has never hit us with food. Oh no! It was his first throw and he hit the target. Well now we need to continue to fight against him so that he has no chance of defeating us. This guy is very serious. He is running right after us but we have almost killed him. Wait, why did our shots stop causing damage to him? He has already hit us with a frying pan several times, but this didn't help him in any way. And unfortunately, we couldn't use our bug with which we would fly off this slide at maximum speed. Now, let's change our skin. Oh my God, I didn't expect that he would be so huge. And it looks like the developers didn't finish this skin because his legs and arms don't move. He just stands in a static pose and seems to be moving forward on small wheels. Well, I think that now we will stop before the test with lasers and change our skin to some other one to make it more interesting for us to complete this game. I think we need to choose any skin from inside out because today we are going through this particular prison. I think it would be quite logical to choose the anxiety skin. Okay, let's choose that one. I think it will be very funny to fight the final boss being such a funny little guy. And now let's go through a test in which we need to fly past lasers. In fact, this test is as easy as possible and we have never lost in it. It seems to me that the developers should slightly increase the rotation speed of these lasers to make it much more difficult to fly between them. All that's left is to fly past the last laser. Great job, Bluey. Well, before meeting the final boss, we only have one test left to pass, namely the bridge test. I really hope this little guy can take that heavy metal arm bridge and move it between platforms. It looks like it's absolutely easy for him. He handles it as coolly as possible. It seems to me that there is much more power in it than we might think. Now let's open up to fight the final boss. The battle between anxiety and joy will be a truly legendary battle. It seems to me that no one could imagine this, even the people who created this cartoon. Let's defeat Joy Robot being a little anxiety. We've already dealt with one of her arms. Only the second one remains to be shot. Come on, Bluey, keep dodging the projectiles. You managed to do this simply wonderful. Excellent. Finally, we were able to defeat this boss. I really liked this game because it is very rich in various changes. And the most important change in this game is the ability to change your skin. It seems to me that this is missing from a huge number of other Roblox games. Well, now let's move on to next week. Hello, everyone, friends. Today we will escape from Cinemarol's prison. Oh, these are the same funny white weirdos from the cartoon. I know them. I like them very much. Well, let's now try to escape from their prison. To be honest, I have absolutely no idea what these strange white creatures are, but you seem to really like them. So let's go through their prison today. Cinemarol is a small, shy, and chubby dog with white fur, blue eyes, pink cheeks, a plump and curly tail, that resembles a cinnamon roll, hence his name, and long and thick ears that enable him to fly. Thank you for explaining. It seems to me that I would never have thought of this on my own. By the way, look, and here she is. I hope that now she will not fly after us with her ears throughout this prison. To be honest, until that moment I didn't know it was a dog. At least she definitely doesn't look like her. Rather, she looks like some kind of hare or rabbit or something like that. Yeah, but it looks like it's some weird Japanese animation that we don't understand because we look like real dogs. Well, we finally escaped from the first boss, and let's now head to the room with the toilets. I wonder how they changed this room. Oh my god! These notifications asking me to add this game to my favorites are starting to really annoy me. Yes, these developers are trying with all their might to attract as many players as possible to this game. 
but after they added a notification about adding the game to favorites for every three steps in this location, I completely lost the desire to repeat playing this game again ever in my life. Looks like these notifications are over. It seems to me that this is some kind of bug, but I'm not going to start playing this game again because we've already come far enough. Now let's go to the corridor with the rolling boulder. They made the distance between the platforms smaller here. It looks like this game was made for very young children because anyone can cope with this test. Yes, I completely agree with you. It seems to me that, on the contrary, we need someone to complicate this game for us instead of adding such simplifications to it because we are already going through this game quickly enough. By the way, we have already passed the test with the boulder, and now we will go to the room with the next boss. I really want to see what he looks like. Let's see. It turns out that this is just a Hello Kitty fan in a pink t-shirt. The same boss we saw in Hello Kitty Prison Break. Well, we escaped from him with ease, and now let's go up these dilapidated steps. By the way, we constantly receive notifications to add this game to your favorites. But we cut this out for you, our dear viewers, so that you don't get tired of this advertising as much as we do. This is really starting to make me very angry because we don't even have time to go through three steps and this notification appears again. It seems to me that these developers are real idiots if they add this to their game. It looks the same if our videos had ads every five seconds. I think in that case, no one would watch them. Let's try to take a break from this and continue to pass this test. By the way, the developers changed the color of the platform here and made the metal platforms purple and they made all the other platforms multicolored. It looks very cool and really diversified this game. Let's now go to the challenge where we need to put the ladder right under the vent. By the way, some player is already standing here, but it looks like she doesn't know how to open the door. Well, I don't think we will help her. By the way, did you also notice that there is no timer in this game? This means that we can take our time to go through this game and look at all the scenery around, because in any case, we won't know if we were able to set a record here. We wouldn't have been able to set a record here anyway, because these constantly appearing notifications about adding this game to your favorites are starting to annoy me very much. I'm very jealous of our viewers because they see the passage of this game without these notifications and they don't get bored because they bother us. Okay, let's just pass this valve test and move on. In fact, I'm already a little used to these notifications. All we need is to simply press the button in time to close them. But sometimes they appear at the most inopportune moment and really prevent us from playing. Maybe the game developer decided to make it difficult for us to complete this game in this way. In this case, he did it as horribly as possible because this game is almost impossible to play after this innovation. I can't imagine how difficult it is for players who play on the phone because this notification constantly appears on top of all the buttons and prevents them from pressing the control buttons. And sometimes this notification appears at the most crucial moment. In addition to these idiotic innovations, they also reduce the distance between platforms. We are actually now playing a game in which we practically do nothing. This really pisses me off. So far, this game deserves one out of ten. One point? I think you're giving this game too many points. It deserves zero points out of ten because there's nothing interesting in it, although you may be right. And now we will see the next boss. The main thing is that in a fight with this boss, we don't have these stupid notifications appear on the entire screen because of which we will have problems with shots. Unfortunately, these notifications keep appearing here. Well, anyway, let's try to kill this cutie. I really don't want to shoot him because he looks as harmless as possible. But I know that if he approaches us, he will hit us on the head with a frying pan. Interesting. Will we be able to take advantage of the bug in this game? Let's check it out. Oh, no. Unfortunately, we stood too far from this boss and flew off in the wrong direction. Well, then let's go to this slide ourselves and slide down it. And again, two tests remain before us before meeting the final boss. Well, I really hope that this stupid notification will not appear in the tunnel with lasers and will prevent us from playing. I think we should stop hoping for this because if notifications appear every three steps in this game, literally. So I think we should just wait until the end to complete this game. I really hope that if our viewers decide to play this game, they will definitely dislike this game and write a complaint about it because the developer has added so many notifications in this game.
It seems to me that this definitely shouldn't happen here. I think this will be the most correct decision. By the way, in the meantime, we have already passed the test with lasers. And now, we only have to pass one test before meeting the final boss. Let's climb these stairs, take the bridges, and place them over the abyss so that we can get to the final location. There are only two gaps left to go through. Great job, Bluey. You are doing great. You do it very well. Now let's look at the final boss. A giant cute furry robot with long ears? I think he doesn't look at all intimidating, but nevertheless, Let's defeat him in order to beat this game. We're almost done with one of his hands, and now we'll start the second. This robot moves quite slowly. He has very little chance of killing us. The only way he can kill us is if he starts spamming an endless number of notifications right in front of us. But in any case, we managed to beat this game even with this obstacle. Now we will get into this car and head to the helipad. I really want to finish this game as soon as possible, because it seems to me that these notifications are constantly going to give me nightmares. Finally, we are heading straight to the helipad. Oh my god, are you serious? These notifications are just endless! Okay, I can now say that I really hate this game and give it 0 out of 10, and let's quickly move on to the next game. Hello everyone, friends, and today you and I will escape from the Indigo Park prison. Indigo Park? Are those creepy animals with very scary faces? God, I hope there are no screamers in this game. Relax, Dad. This game will be no scarier than Escape from Granny. Yes, I think that next time we play a horror game, we will definitely not take you with us, because the whole next day after completing the Escape from Granny, you could not sleep in the dark. There is nothing shameful about it. She really was scary. By the way, here we are at the first boss. This is the same creepy parrot from Indigo Park. He really looks as weird as possible. Just look at how he moves. Lord, I want to run away from him as quickly as possible. His face looks like he's about to jump on us and peck us to death. We need to quickly escape from him. By the way, for some reason there is no roof in his enclosure, and here the developers decided to remove the pipes and instead added an ordinary bridge. Well, this is a rather strange decision for a bird, because as far as I know, they much prefer to sit on all sorts of different perches. Well, we finally escaped from him. By the way, look, here is a multicolored shining shovel. This is the first time I've seen this. Now we were shopping in the dungeon and we need to jump on these platforms so as not to fall into the acid below. By the way, in this game, the developers for some reason decided to replace lava with acid. Well, let's walk across this bridge. Wait, what? Why don't these planks break? Okay, it looks like the developers of this game decided to simplify it a little. And but they decided to change this test and added a fake platform because of which we fell down. By the way, look. We got to the corridor with the rolling boulder, and it is glowing and repainted in a very bright green color. It looks very cool. By the way, I still haven't noticed that there is water in this corridor. This is a pretty cool decision. Thanks to the fact that they decided to replace this boulder, this game really looks different. And the developers also changed the fire of the torches and made it green. Now let's go to the next boss and find out what he looks like. Oh my god, it's a huge green snake and it's crawling right behind us right now. God, it's too fast. I think it can grab us right now. We need to run away from it faster. She's a little behind us. Let's quickly get up the stairs. Great. Oh my god. She screams too loud. But it's good that we managed to escape from her. Now we need to climb these steps and then we will head straight to the energy drink test transparent platform? I really see this for the first time. It seems that the developers of this game really decided to add a huge number of innovations here. Well, we finally made it to the vending machine. Now let's grab an energy drink and go run the energy drink race. In this test, they decided not to add too many innovations. They just changed the color of the walls and some of the platforms here. Now they have turned yellow. It really looks as cool as possible. Well, let's quickly run through this test and head to the next test where we will need to put the ladder under the ventilation. Well, we are going through this game quite quickly today. It is quite possible.
possible that this is due to the fact that the developers are simplifying it too much. By the way, look, they decided to put a ladder in our place here. Well, this is very cool. And now we will go up in this ventilation and go to cross the bridge with the fan. Wow. Here, the developers decided to add wooden walls and change the color of the spikes to yellow. It looks really extremely unusual. Before that, we went through this location and it felt like we were running around some kind of concrete room. But here, it seems like we were in some old wooden mill and trying to get out of it. It really looks unusual and very unusual for this game. Now let's get through this very long vent test and finally go do the vent race. The developers decided not to change the task with the valves in this game and left it the same. Well, I'm already used to the fact that no one changes it and it's still as boring as always. This boring ordeal is finally over. We've turned all the valves and now let's climb this wooden bridge. By the way, the developers here also decided to replace all the ventilation tunnels with wooden bridges. It looks quite unusual. I've never seen anything like this before. Now let's go through this real vent and head straight to the fan race. I really hope that the developers did not simplify this test. Oh no, unfortunately they made the test between platforms extremely small, and because of this we do not even need to press the jump button in order to pass it. We just move here like on a conveyor belt. I would really like the developers to stop adding this to their games because in this way they simplify them very much, and these games become as boring as possible to play through. Now let's see the third boss in this game. I really, really want to see what the next boss will look like. Let's go and see. It's the same parrot again that was the first boss. This Molly thing is starting to annoy me a little. But on the other hand, he doesn't throw food at us and doesn't slow us down. But the fact that he starts jumping very high really irritates me because this makes him much more difficult to hit. But fortunately, his HP decreases quite quickly. Now it looks like today we will be able to deal with it very quickly. This is very cool. I don't like to stay at this level for long. Let's try to use our bug. Unfortunately, this parrot exploded too much and therefore we could not fly off the slide with the help of a blast wave. And therefore, let's now do it ourselves. Finally, we only have two tests left to complete before meeting the final boss. Let's quickly go upstairs and start passing the test with lasers. I really hope that the developers at least somehow change this location. Just look at this. The developers actually made the walls of this tunnel translucent and you can see the night sky through them. It really looks extremely unusual. We have never seen anything like this before. I really like how the developers worked on the design of this level. Now let's go to the last level before meeting the final boss where we will need to use our life hack to build bridges over the abyss. I'm very glad that we were able to come up with this life hack because thanks to it we can pass this test much faster. By the way, the developers changed the color of the spikes even in this test. They made them white. It really looks very unusual. And here comes the next boss! Look, this is a plush Molly robot. There is a very strange blue outline around it. I've never seen such an outline around bosses before. It really looks extremely unusual. And the color scheme of his robot also looks extremely funny. Well, let's quickly try to defeat him. We've already broken one of his arms. All you have to do is fire a few shots at the second one to finally defeat him. Come on, Bluey. Great. We were able to do it. Now let's head straight to the car to go to the helipad. In fact, this mode is really quite interesting because here the developers have greatly changed the design of this game. I really liked how much they added here. Well, now let's run straight to the helipad to finally get out of this prison once and for all. Unfortunately, our car stopped too far from the helipad this time, so we have to run through the desert for a very long time to reach the stairs. But fortunately, we are almost here. Now let's quickly climb up these stairs to get into this helicopter. I wonder if the developers changed the helicopter in this game or not. By the way, it seems to me that the developers should have added an elevator here a long time ago instead of us constantly having to make our way up the same route. Unfortunately, the developers did not change the model of the helicopter in this game and left it as black as it always was. Well, let's take off now and finally fly away from here. 
I really like this game. I hope that other developers of Barry's Prison Break will take a cue from this game on how to change the design. Now let's move on to the next game. Hello everyone, friends. Today we will run away from Granny and Roblox. Granny? Just don't tell me that this is the same scary game in which you need to look for a huge number of objects in order to escape from her house. Yes, this is the same game. But don't worry, Dad, because in this game, everything is not as scary as in the original Granny House Escape. We connected to this lobby too late, and we only have more than three minutes left to escape from this house. It seems to me that we won't have time to do anything because the other players have already passed quite a large number of tests here. We found some kind of book, and it looks like there is another part of the shotgun here. Okay. It seems to me that we really connected to this lobby too late, and therefore let's just explore this territory for now in order to understand where what is located in this game. This house has a very creepy atmosphere. Bluey, are you really not afraid to walk around this house? It seems to me that if I played this game, I would walk here very slowly. By the way, we still haven't seen Granny here. No, I'm not scared at all to walk here because I played the original Granny game and everything was much scarier there. Oh my God, this really scared me. It looks like she is behind this wall now. It looks like she can show through the textures due to the fact that her model is too big for these small corridors. Okay, we found some Teddy in this room and I don't know where we can use it. In addition to Teddy, there was another battery here. I also can't imagine where it can be used. Perhaps it needs to be inserted into the front door. By the way, look. These are bullets and it looks like a shotgun slug. But we don't have a shotgun so we can use them. I really don't understand why you are not afraid to go through this game. Because I watch you go through it through half-closed eyes. This huge, creepy location really doesn't inspire any confidence in me. Stop being so fearful, Dad. This game is absolutely not scary. Everything here is very... Oh, look! It looks like Granny went for a walk in the yard of her house, and she again became visible through the textures. I don't think we should jump into that hatch. It looks like a hatch in which Granny keeps naughty children. I think we should focus on finding items. Although it seems to me that we have very little time left to complete this game. In the 50 seconds remaining, we definitely won't have time to do it. At least I myself don't know where the other items are located. It says, leave this house. Okay, if we really could do this, we would do it as soon as possible. But it looks like we don't have this opportunity, and so we're just running around all the rooms here like crazy and looking for all sorts of different things. Unfortunately, time ran out and we still couldn't get out of Granny's house, but I think we'll try to do it on the second try. Well, let's go straight into the lobby and start trying to walk through this house completely. I slightly remembered the location of some items, but it seems to me that in any case, completing this game this time will not be so easy. Well, let's look for something in the kitchen. Melon or watermelon? What is this anyway and why is it green? How can this even be useful to us in escaping from grandma's house? I don't understand this at all. What a mannequin. I don't understand what, what happened. Where did we fall? I think this granny should urgently start renovating her house. Unfortunately, after our fall, we lost all the items that we had. And now, we will have to look for everything that we found before again. It looks like she decided to take a little rest here. Okay, let's not disturb her and let's continue searching. By the way, this is the very hole into which we fell. We got into the attic and it says here that we need some kind of special key. Well, let's start looking for him. Okay, we're in the kitchen and we picked up a watermelon. Oh no. Oh no, this is Granny and she is running right after us. We urgently need to- Oh no, she's here again. She deceived us. And you said that this game is not scary? A crazy woman with a bat is running after us and wants to kill us. We urgently need to hide in this room and close all the doors. Now we need to wait for the moment when she moves away from this door and we can get out of here. Oh no, she's still here. Okay. So we're sitting in this room and going nowhere. Oh my God, why did you decide to come out Bluey? For some reason, it seemed to me that she had already moved far enough from the door and I could calmly go out. But it seems that this is not the case at all. Okay, then let's continue walking around and looking for objects again. 
Last time we didn't pick up enough items for us to be afraid of losing them. Oh God, she was here all this time. This was our third death in this game. This means that we need to be as careful as possible and look behind every corner that we are going to go out. Well, I think that now we need to make sure that we can open that very hatch. For it, we need a spider key. I think we should start looking for this key now. Spider key? Sounds pretty creepy. It looks like with this key, we will find ourselves in the basement, and in this basement, there will be some creepy spiders. I really hope that this is not the case, because I am very afraid of spiders, and I hope that they will not be there. We just found some special key. Well, let's continue exploring this dungeon. It looks like there really are a lot of items in it. I thought that this thing might fit this electrical panel, but we need some special scissors for it. Well, then we need to continue our search here. I would really not like to try to get out into the yard because it seems to me that there will be a lot of useful items in the yard. Okay, we found ourselves in some strange room and there is a pen and a battery here. I think that these items will also help us. But to be honest, I still can't even imagine where these items can be used. Now we need to go and still find this spider key somewhere in this house. I have no idea where we can find this damn... Oh no, oh no! Lord, it's Grandma again! I don't know how we can find this key. Oh wait, what is this? Has he been lying here all this time? Seriously? Okay. I think first we need to apply the items we found to this door. We definitely have them in our inventory because we have a lot of items here. I think we have a battery. Let's put it here. Cool. We did it. Now we will need to open the hatch. I think first we need to use some more items because we have a lot of them in our inventory. Great! We installed a remote controller to this door, and now we need to take what we find there. Look! And here is that same hatch! Great! We finally opened the spider hatch here! Bluey, maybe you can help me a little? I can't squeeze through this hatch. Great! Thank you very much! Well now, let's move on. Oh my god! It's the most scary here because I'm very afraid of spiders! I wouldn't want to move any further here because it seems to me that here they can attack us. Oh lord! What was it? Did you see this? Some spider with a huge white head just ran right in front of us! I saw this too. It looked as terrible as possible. But we found a hammer. Here and now, with the help of this hammer, we can knock out some boards that prevent us from passing through certain passages. But it seems to me that it would be much cooler if we could use this hammer as a weapon. Okay, I think- Oh god, here she is. This is the same spider with a huge white head. It turns out that this is a spider whose head is the same as Granny's. How did she even end up in this dungeon? And what kind of creature is this? This is absolutely incomprehensible to me. But we discovered a secret passage in which we found a wooden stick. I don't know how useful a wooden stick can be for us, but we just found some kind of valve or something like that, and I remember that this is the thing we can use in that spider's dungeon. I actually don't really want to go back there, but it seems to me that we have no other choice and we'll just have to go there. Okay, we are here, and it looks like now, with the help of this strange thing, we can open this secret passage. Oh my god, these spiders scare me very much. When I look at how they crawl, it always seems to me that he's going to jump right on my face. Okay, we turned this valve, but nothing happened. Could there actually be a secret door open somewhere in this underground labyrinth? Let's explore it and check it out. Oh no, it's the grandma again. Lord, we need to hide in the very corner in which we turned this valve. Okay, great. It looks like she won't get here. At least I really hope so. Now we need to find a secret passage somewhere here. Look, this is very similar to what we opened with the help of a valve. Apparently this is some kind of secret door. Okay, let's go upstairs. Look, there are two cases here. Let's see what's in them. Wait, Bluey, take your time. You only need to open one case. Oh my God, I'm sorry I didn't warn you about this earlier. Here you really just had to guess randomly which of the cases seems correct. Hello everyone friends and today we will escape from Cinderella prison. Bingo! What happened to your voice? Wait, what happened to my voice? Wait guys, what's going on here? 
What's wrong with my voice too? And where is Bluey? Hi everybody. Oh lord. Our voices are broken. What happened to our voices? Why are they so strange? To be honest, I don't know what happened to our votes that night. It seems to me that perhaps we are all sick. Are you sure you closed the windows before going to bed? It seems to me that we have some kind of technical breakdown and because of this our voices are heard quite strangely. Let's go to the first boss. And here comes Cinderella. Wait, is it just me or is she not moving? Wait, seriously? God, why is everything broken in this game today? She teleported and stayed at the bottom of the stairs. God, this looks like some kind of horror movie, but it's not Prison Break. By the way, besides all the bugs, the design in this game is really good. And now we are heading straight to the room with the toilets. I really want to see how they changed it. Let's now go into this ventilation and go straight there to find out. God, our voices really sound as strange as possible. It seems to me that our subscribers will not really like the way we sound today. But I think that such a problem will only be in one video and tomorrow everything will fall into place. I also really hope so because it's very strange to me how I sound. I hope that tomorrow I will be able to speak in my normal voice as I always said. Well, I think we should take a slight break from this topic and concentrate on completing this game. By the way, the developers decided to make this dungeon snowy and there are snowflakes flying everywhere. It looks very cute. And now we're heading straight to the corridor with the rolling boulder. Oh my god, Bluey. I think your voice sounds worse than everyone else. I really just wish our voices would go back to normal. Looks like it's some kind of bug or something. So we agreed that we would take a break from this topic, so let's really concentrate on completing this map. Now we are heading straight to the room with the second boss, namely the night boss. I really hope that he doesn't get bugged like the first boss. I think now we can check it out. Let's go to this room. Oh no, unfortunately the boss also messed up. He just stands still. Well, I think that thanks to this we will be able to complete this game much faster, but it does look quite strange. Perhaps this is because he is frozen here and therefore he cannot move. It's really quite strange. Wait, what? Oh, my voice is back. Finally. Did this really happen? I thought that this wouldn't happen today. Well, it looks like we were lucky. Great. This means very well that we can continue to have fun playing this game. Now let's pull that lever and head straight to the energy drink race. I really want to go to this test as soon as possible and see how he has been changed. Unfortunately, these tests did not change anything. But in any case, I'm very glad that we got our votes back. God, how nice it is to hear your normal voice again. Yes, this is really incredibly cool. Well, let's pass this energy drink test and go straight to the next task. I really hope that the fact that we have our normal voices back also means that the bosses will stop lag in this game. I really hope this happens because for now, this game isn't really a game. We just walk around this location and look at what the bosses look like when they stand still. Is this the boss museum from Barry's prison break? This comparison is really very apt. Well, now let's go to the room with the stairs. Take the stairs and put it directly under the ventilation in order to go to the next test. I have no doubt that Bluey will actually be able to jump up on the first try. You can be sure of it. I'm sure she will succeed. Great Bluey. Well done, you did it. By the way, did you notice that in this location, everything is exactly the same as in the Minion Prison Escape? The developers decided to change only the first location, and then everything remained the same. This really pisses me off, and I would really like the developers of this map to actually change it somehow. Oh yes, I noticed this too, but I really hope that they will change some tests ahead. By the way, now we're heading straight to the valve test. We need to turn all these valves in order to move on. I think that no one ever changes this task. Probably because it is the most tedious and no one wants to work with it. It seems to me that he should be removed from this game altogether. I completely agree with you. I really think it's impossible to think of a more boring test. Well, we finally passed it. Now we need to go upstairs and head straight to the fan run. I really hope that they did not change the distance between the platforms and left it the same so that this test would be really interesting to complete. I think that we will find out this as soon as possible. In order to get to it, we need to jump into this ventilation and go through it. Excellent. We were already straight into a race with fans. And by the way, they didn't change the distance between the platforms. It actually remains quite large. And because of this, this challenge is still difficult to pass. Well, I really like it. Just a few jumps left. Come on, Bluey. You can do it. Great. We did it. 
And now we are heading straight into this giant wind tunnel to go straight to the boss chef. I really hope that he won't stand in one place and just watch as we kill him. And we finally found ourselves in the cafeteria. Um... Bro, maybe you will at least somehow react to us? Do you even know how to throw food? You are the boss chef. You must attack us. It looks like he doesn't care about us at all. Well, thanks to this, we can kill him as quickly as possible in order to go complete the last test in this game. We shoot him right in the belly, but he doesn't care at all. Well, it was a very easy test. Now let's head to the hill to go straight to the last two tasks in this game. Okay, let's really do this. We only have two tests left to complete before meeting the final boss. Judging by the fact that all three previous bosses just stood still, it seems to me that the final boss will also do the same thing. Well, it looks like this game will really be as easy as possible, but for some reason we're going through. It's quite long today. 460 seconds have already passed, and we are just beginning to undergo tests with lasers. By the way, I noticed this too. It seems that the timer in this game is also broken, and it is counting down time much faster than it should. It is possible that one unit of time here is slightly less than one second, but I think it doesn't matter because we know that we beat this game better than anyone else. Well, now let's go through the last test before meeting the final boss, namely the bridge test. I really hope that the final boss in this game is not broken after all and we are in for a very epic fight with him because defeating all the previous bosses in this game was quite boring. By the way, just look at the columns here. Oh no, this boss doesn't seem to be going to stand up and fight us. He just sits in one place and shoots. It looks like this boss is very lazy or he is really very cold here. I think we should keep shooting at his arm and not stop. Look, we came as close to him as possible and he doesn't even react to us. What if we start shooting at him? Oh, he twitches very strangely when we shoot him in the butt. He doesn't seem to like it very much. But these shots do not cause any damage to him. Well, I think we should keep shooting at his arms in order to defeat him. We were finally able to defeat him. By the way, this game is designed pretty cool. I liked it, but unfortunately there are too many bugs. And so much so that at the very beginning of the game, our voice even changed. Now let's head straight to the next game. Hello everyone, friends. Today we will run away from the donut shop. As soon as you said donuts, I immediately got hungry. Everything here looks pretty tasty, even though it doesn't look like real food. Yes. It also seems to me that it looks like it's just a very crooked 3D modeling. Let's go further and see what challenges await us in this donut shop. Someone spilled water on the floor. Looks like they have leaks. I think they should call a plumber. Yes, because of this water spilled around, we cannot walk along it and we have to look for workarounds. Well, now let's walk across these platforms. Very cool. By the way, there are a lot of saves in this game and arrows point to them. If it weren't for these arrows, it would be much more difficult to get through this. These donuts disappear and appear. Excellent. We waited for him to appear again. Well, we walked through this corridor with spilled water and ended up in the ventilation. Look, there's a map ahead. We need to study it in order to understand how we can get out of this ventilation maze. Don't worry, Dad. I already figured out how to get to the very end of this labyrinth. By the way, look, there is a yellow arrow over there that points us to the exit. It seems to me that I could cope with passing this location even without a map. Now we need to get to the other end using these moving platforms. The most important thing is not to fall down. Yes, there is a very fast rotating fan below that can cut us into small pieces. Now the main thing is to wait for the platform and climb up it. We're finally on the platform. Now we need to run through these pipes. The main thing is not to touch these bare wires. Great, we're back in the ventilation. Let's break out this ventilation grill. Okay, now we find ourselves in some new location. It looks a lot like a school, but it's kind of weird for a donut shop to have a school. Someone broke these stairs, and now there is an abyss between the fragments of these stairs. It's good that someone put boards here. Otherwise, we simply wouldn't have been able to jump. Well. 
It looks like we've made it through this corridor. Now let's move on. It looks like we're in some kind of donut warehouse because there are forklifts here. Now let's jump on these forklifts to move on. There is a huge gap here again. What happened in this donut shop? Earthquake? The end of the world? Otherwise, I simply cannot explain the appearance of these strange, huge abysses. I think we shouldn't look for meaning here. After all, we are now in a huge donut shop and trying to find a way out of here. I think this is already quite illogical. We're back in the ventilation. Oh, look, it's an airflow. Wow, we were very quickly carried away by this air current straight into the hall where people are eating donuts. But it looks like someone has spilled a huge amount of drinks here, and we need to get past them. It looks like they not only spilled some drinks, but also threw donuts all over the floor and they started melting. It seems to me that Dad's earthquake theory has a right to exist. In general, it is possible that someone robbed this donut shop, and now we are trying to find the person who did it. In this case, I really want to find the one who did this because he must suffer his punishment. These donuts look as delicious as possible, and I don't want anyone to upset those who make these donuts. We jumped into some kind of hatch, and it looks like we will now end up in the sewer. Look! We found ourselves right in it! Looks like there's a lot of toxic waste here. Apparently, these are not the most ordinary donuts. Looks like radiation was used in making these donuts. In this case, it became clear to me why this donut shop was such a mess. Well, now we need to use this platform to get to the other end of this abyss. We need to jump onto this pipe and press the button on the wall. Bluey handles all these challenges pretty quickly today. I'm very surprised how she manages to do it. Well, now we need to walk along this corridor and not fall into this acid. Great, now let's stand on this acid and it threw us straight up. We ended up in the bakery again. I'm very interested in when we will get to the exit from this location because we have already gone through a huge number of different rooms. Is this donut shop really that big? Now we need to walk along this conveyor belt and move on. By the way, look, there are a lot of donuts on that envelope strip. The main thing is not to accidentally step on them, otherwise we will have to go through this test again. By the way, this test is really quite difficult because these conveyor belts are constantly moving. I definitely wouldn't want to go through this test again, so be as careful as possible, Bluey. By the way, look, here we found ourselves in a place where dough for future donuts is rolled out. We were just nearly crushed by a rolling pin, but we skillfully dodged it. And now we need to move on. This corridor is long enough. There are a lot of obstacles here. By the way, look, here a multicolored donut cream flies out of these ovens, and we need to go through this corridor without being hit by this cream. Great, we came past it, and let's go to the next door. I'm very interested in when we'll get out of here. I'm also very interested in this because we just saw the street outside the window. But for some reason, we can't escape from here through this window and we'll have to go through further tests. We again found ourselves in some kind of corridor, and now we need to escape from it by jumping on different boxes. Is this the bakery where all the donuts in the world are made? Why is she so gigantic? I think this space is really too big for a regular donut shop. There are too many rooms here. I completely agree with you. By the way, look, there's some kind of giant evil donut here. It looks like this is the same donut that caused destruction here. We need to escape from him. Oh no, ventilation is not achievable for us now because we need to somehow add stairs there. Look, this is the button that we missed and didn't press. It looks like we need to click on it for the stairs to appear. Great! We clicked on it and now we need to run straight to the stairs. Yes, it has finally appeared. Now we need to climb up and break the bars. Cool, we were finally able to get out of this donut. I thought he was going to eat us right now. And we again found ourselves in some incomprehensible giant location. There are really too many locations in this game that we need to overcome. It seems to me that the developers really tried very hard to come up with all these challenges in this game. It seems to me that the developers really put a lot of effort into this game because it seems to me that building such a huge location takes a lot of time and effort. But okay, we finally went down these stairs, and now we need to overcome one very giant abyss again. In fact, it's strange that an ordinary evil donut could cause such destruction in this huge room. 
I hope we don't have to fight against that giant donut at the end of this game. Otherwise, we really have very little chance of defeating him if he really has the strength to cause destruction in a huge building. By the way, we just went down, and it seems to me that we are as close as possible to the exit. Okay, let's go through this hole in the wall. Look, there's some kind of giant corridor here. Oh no, there's a huge donut rolling here. This task reminds me very much of the corridor from Barry's prison escape, in which we had to do exactly the same thing. I think the donut moves a little faster in this game. I think it's just your imagination. In fact, this donut is moving at the most normal speed. And by the way, we were finally able to overcome this corridor. Well, now, let's come through these doors. We again found ourselves in some location with a giant rift below. I'm very surprised at how many faults there are in this game. By the way, we got to the other end, and now we need to climb this dilapidated staircase to the top. Cool! We were able to do it again. By the way, we have already completed 91% of this game, and it seems to me that the finale is already as close as possible. Look! This hole looks a lot like an exit! Let's see where we end up now. Great! We're finally outside, and now we need to overcome this parking lot in which there are a lot of moving cars. I really hope that not a single car will hit us and we will be able to get to the very end of this test. Now we need to overcome this road on which cars are driving very fast. The main thing is not to forget to look around so that not a single car leaves the tunnel and hits us. And now we need to cross this stream on logs. Cool, we were finally able to beat this game. It was very huge, but I liked it very much. Now let's move on to the next game.